Hello, so um, this is Dale, um, Arling's with me. We're going to do a quick tour of the interior of our boat, Mallard. Um, she was designed by a Dutch guy whose name is Mark Martin um, Beckenbred, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Uh, the builder, his name is uh, Heel, and uh, we work closely with him on the design of the interior. And uh, we really love the boat and uh, wanted to share you know the layout and the interior with really anybody that's interested you can see the diagram here um, she's 11 meters long 36 feet um, on deck uh, there's a anchor locker forward cabin a couple of closets a uh, shower toilet there's a little laundry room um, there's also a guest cabin and the main cabin or raised saloon um, or deck house it's often referred to where we've got the uh, seating area um, which fits about four people and the galley or the kitchen so uh, you know the engine is in a separate um, area back here but what I'm going to move uh, you know forward and then start to um, sort of quickly walk through the boat uh, okay here we go um, so I'm moving um, you know, through this little corridor and we can see here we've got the main um, forward cabin that's where you know Arlen and I sleep generally and we can see that um, you know there's a quite a big bed it's about a uh, full size I think Arlene is that correct yeah and it's about two meters long um, one and a half meters wide so it's pretty much a sort of standard size bed, not quite a queen, but quite close to it. Um, you can see that um, the wood at the uh, end there, there's a door. Um, if you go through that door, there's the anchor locker. And, uh, and then below actually the bed, there is a, um, a bow thruster and all of the mechanical stuff that makes all that work. Uh, then we've got some shelving on both sides. Um, we've got couple of um, cupboards and you can see the the light there is coming through it's really beautiful and sunny so you can actually see this particular cupboard if you shut that door just for a second darling um, you, know, you can see that locker and then there's storage under these corner cushions yeah. there. and then there's storage under the bed big drawer here and then over here, there's some, you can lift those up. Yeah, so there's a similar type of um, arrangement here. We've got these um, areas where we can sort store things. I think I've got a pair of shoes under there. Um, so there's quite a lot of storage in the boat. Um, even under the bed, um, there's some storage. Uh, you could call it deep storage where we put things uh, that, you know, we don't need that often. We've got reading lamps. Yeah, lamps. They're all LED. Up in the corners there are charging ports, USB and outlets. And one of the things I really, really love about the boat are these round traditional um, port lights. So we've got four in this cabin uh, with these cute sort of curtains um, and a uh, little painting by my mum. I'll talk about that another time. Uh, but it's really, you know, traditional, you could say. And then we've got quite a few of these hatches uh, all throughout the boat, which are really lovely. And you can see these mahogany doors, which are, you know, really beautifully made. And, um, you know, one of the really things we love about the boat. So uh, there's Arlene again, and we're going to go to each uh, little room and show you. Now, this is the shower which amazed us at how big it is and how efficient it is it's got um you know some i'm going to go into it apparently arlene's pushing me <laughs> so uh oh here we go you know i'm going to hand over the port light uh, but you can see that there's quite a lot of storage um we've got uh some ducks that's the theme of the boat um mallards you can tell uh and this is a uh, sort of thermostatic shower which works really well, but I'm standing, you know, I'm relatively tall. I can stand up easily. And I think 
Dutchmen would be able to stand up with their head in this uh, hatch, um, which uh, you know gives you sort of really quite a large space for a small sailboat. Anyway, that's the shower. I'm coming out now, and uh, you can see here that we've got a uh, separate head. Yeah, separate head. The proper word for a toilet on a boat is head, and we've got the same type of um, hatch. We've got a round port, we've got a fan and a light. Um, we've got the actual toilet itself. And um, yeah, Arlene's arranged the um, Royal Yacht Britannia towels, um, essential on any yacht with a British connection. Um, so yeah, uh, that's the toilet. And next we're moving into the uh, laundry room, perhaps scullery. So we've got a similar type of arrangement with a port. We've got a you know, really cute uh, washing machine which is um, working really well and we've got a freezer with a lot of space um, so if you want to voyage across the Pacific uh, which will never happen um, you know maybe we could but there's quite a bit of storage um, you know in these various uh, spaces here and we really were surprised uh, the fact that we could get a laundry, um, you know, a laundry area in a boat, a 36 foot boat. It was really a, a wonderful thing that um, he was able to do for us. Um, so we're closing that door and then, you know, we've got a hatch above in the corridor and Arlene's about to open the, um, the guest cabin. So guest cabin is sort of unique. Uh, we've got this, um, Heated towel rail that I installed that actually allows us to uh, dry laundry inside when you know we don't have the right weather outside. Uh, we've got um, you know some got the hatch above. We've got the port uh, there as well. We've got this control panel where really it's the sort of central nervous system of the boat. That's where all the electrics and the plumbing and everything is all controlled from and quite sophisticated and I was going to do a separate video on that because I find it quite intriguing. Um, we've got the, uh, the radio, the um, VHF radio and we've got a very um, modest uh, library here that's mostly sailing related. And then below, um, you know, we do have uh, some more storage. Um, and I've got my tools in here but this area is really another bed and it's just the same size as the forward cabin uh, but you know it's a different configuration if you can imagine um, this bedroom is uh, below the main settee or sofa in the raised saloon and it's uh, you know not uh, the you know, it's not really for older people, but I think that Arlene and I would be able to use this bed without any problem. And then if we have uh, people that aren't quite as um, able to get around, they're not quite as agile, they will be able to, ha able to have our forward cabin. Um, but it is, uh, my brother stayed in here, he's older than me, yeah. and he was absolutely fine. At least he told me that. He was warm and, uh, you know, he's up very early. You can see we've got quite a lot of, um, you know, some storage here like life jackets and, you know, bits and bobs that, um, you know, we uh, we need to store. But we're keeping this bed, we hope, um, you know, available and we're not going to use this room for storage if, if at all possible. So that's our guest cabin. And um, I'm just going to move out of the guest cabin um, back into our corridor and take you into the main um, deck saloon. And this was, I would say, the, the feature that, you know, really attracted us the most to this particular design. When you're inside a regular sailboat, um, you're really sitting down uh, quite low, a little bit like living in the submarine, some people might say. Um, but with this design, you're able to sit as Arlene is demonstrating, and look out. Uh, so you can actually see the harbour, you can see, you know, the wildlife, uh, you're able to watch other boats come by, um, 
jump out and stop them whacking into your hull. Um, so and, yeah, so this uh, is the, the, the dining table, but under the dining table yeah. is my, our everything oven, broiler, air fryer, microwave, okay. uh, and convection. Arlie knows how to work it, I'm not quite sure yet. And then this is, panning up, this is the rest of the, the galley. Got uh, more charging. Uh, the counter comes across here and the stove top is actually one of these fancy, I never know the name. Induction. Induction. And, but it's also got this um, frame that acts as a stage to put anything you want on here that might rock. But um, it's multi-purpose. It was worked, you know, we yeah. went, out, went out on the Wadden Sea. Um, there were quite a lot of waves and uh, we had things sort of caught in this area and they didn't go flying across uh, the boats. Um, the um, only thing that we did have a problem was with the, was the, the fridge, well, wasn't Martin it? Martin worked out how to lock the yeah, fridge, but this a... is a, a standard size, you know, like a RV size fridge. So that's the fridge uh, free, and a uh, free, little freezer in there. So that's that and then storage all along here. Yeah. Huge drawers that are, um, don't look at the mess. So we've got massive drawers behind there. There's actually even more storage behind that we can't really get to. But so that's all the storage. And then we've got a uh, entrance locker here for coats. And then we come to the little. Yeah, we've got some mementos that we bought from, you know, various places that are really special to us. Um, but I'm probably going to do a separate video to talk about that. Um, we do have a, you know, basic tea and coffee making. Um, and uh, you know not quite at the level of Bryant um, or Eleanor uh, but you know it's uh, light and um, very space saving um, so anyway that's our interior tour of the Mallard and uh, we're proud of our little ship and if you have any questions please do um, you know ask away uh, you know, uh, that's a, a clock from the Isle of Wight. And I'm going to, you know, I could talk for 30 minutes just about that clock. So let's <laughs> avoid that now. Um, but anyway, um, thanks for watching and uh, see you next time. Bye.